بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم رحمت عالم بائی سید سلیمان ندوی محمد پیس بی اپون ہی مرسی فار دا یونیورس ٹرانسلیٹڈ بائی ایئر آف لوتھر چیپٹر 11 حضرت حمزہ ان اسلام حضرت حمزہ واز انکل آف دا پروفٹ ہی واز اولڈر دین دا پروفٹ ہی واز دا سن آف دا میٹرنل آنٹ آف ہم ہی واز ہز ملک بردر ایز ویل سو ہی لو دا پروفٹ ہی واز اے گڈ ریسلر ہی اسپینڈ موسٹ آف ہز ٹائم ان ٹریولس اینڈ ہنٹنگ ابو جہاز ٹریٹمنٹ ٹو دا پروفٹ واز نون بائی ہم One day Abu Jahal uttered derogatory words against the Prophet. A slave girl standing nearby heard him. She told it to Hazrat Hamza when he came from his hunt in the evening, who became very furious. He went to the Kaaba where the Quraysh chiefs had assembled. Coming nearer to them, he approached Abu Jahal and stuck his head with his bow and said, Lo, I too have embraced Islam. Do whatever you like. Saying this, he went away. This was the day when a great wrestler had come into the circle of Islam. Hazrat Umar embraces Islam. Umar bin Khattab was a Quraysh youth. He was haughty and had hard temper and whatever he spoke it was in a very harsh tone. He was a great enemy of Islam. He used to tease and torture the Muslims. It so happened that he was once sleeping in the idol house. He heard the kalima tayyaba in that very house. He woke up frightened and began to ponder over the truth of the voice. The Prophet used to recite the Quran at night time. He heard him while hiding himself from the sight of the people. Again, once the Prophet was reciting a chapter of the Quran, Umar was listening it with interest and was being influenced by its truthfulness. But because of his harsh treatment and steadfastness in paganism, He went on removing the effect of the scripture. Once it came into the head of Umar to put an end to the life of the Holy Prophet, he took the sword and marched out of his house with this nefarious intention and said, I shall kill Muhammad. While he was going with this errand in mind, he came across a Muslim who asked his intention. He replied that he was going to behead the Prophet. On this, the Muslim said, First go to your sister and her husband who have embraced Islam. Thus flared up with anger and went to their house. Just when he was outside the house, he heard the reciting of the Holy Quran. He rushed into the house and scolded his sister and her husband. The intoxication of faith in the oneness of God could not deter them from the true path of the bliss. Till at last Umar himself was blessed. He asked them to recite some verses of the Holy Quran and also show him the copy of some chapters. They gave him that piece of paper. As soon as he read the verses, his heart melted. He said, There is no divinity except the divinity of God, and Muhammad is God's prophet. It was the time when the prophet was sitting in the house of Arkham. Hazrat Umar went straight to the place. The doors of the house were closed. The Muslims who were sitting there were frightened to see Umar coming with a sword in his hand. Hazrat Hamza said, Let him come in. If he has come with a true heart, it is better. But if his intention is otherwise, his own head will be flown to four winds. The door was open, and he stepped in. The Prophet advanced and holding his hand said, Why, Omar, with what intention are you in here? He replied, To be in the faith. Hearing these words, the Muslims shouted with great pleasure and happiness, Allahu Akbar, God is great. This voice of the Muslims resounded in the Makkah hills. The infidels came to know of Hazrat Umar's embracing Islam, besieged his house, but by the intervention of Asim bin Wail, they went back. It was great encouragement for the Muslims that Hazrat Umar had come in the fold of Islam. By that time, the Muslims did not say their prayers openly for fear of the infidels who could have played a walk on them during their prayers. Now Hazrat Umar took the Muslims along with him and offered prayers to God in the courtyard of Kaaba. Since then, the prayers were offered openly. If you like the video, then please share and subscribe the channel now. Press the bell icon and click on all. Thank you. جزاكم الله خيرا كثيرا